हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू ऑल सब्जेक्ट इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग चैप्टर इन्वेंट्री कंट्रोल टॉपिक इन्वेंट्री रिव्यू सिस्टम डिटर्मिनेस्टिक्स एंड प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ टॉपिक व्हिच नेम एज इन्वेंट्री रिव्यू सिस्टम एंड टुडे वी आर डिस्कस अ टू टाइप ऑफ मॉडल व्हिच नेम एज डिटर्मिनेस्टिक्स एंड प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल ओके स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट Inventory Review System. The Inventory Review System is classified in two category. The first one is a queue system, or queue system is also known as a fixed order system, or we can say is that a reorder point system. Okay, students. The first one is a queue system, and other one is a P system. And P system is also known as a fixed preorder system. or we can say is that a periodic review system so let's start queue system or a fixed order system what is a queue system in the queue system if inventory level is reaches to a reorder level if inventory level is reaches to a reorder level our organization is place a fresh order our organization is a place a fresh order at that point so students in the queue system if our inventory level is reaches to a reorder level a fresh order is placed at that point okay at that point but the quantity of a but the quantity of order is fixed in a queue system in a queue system the quantity of order is fixed in this system the size of order is fixed while the time of order is variable the time is only depends on the reorder level so students in the queue system our quantity of order is fixed our quantity of order is fixed and place at reorder level so the two important points in the queue system please remember the two important point first one is our order is placed at reorder level and quantity and quantity of order is fixed but time is variable time of order time of order is variable what is a reorder level reorder level is a point of inventory to just start to finish a reorder level is nothing but a lead time lead time into demand rate what is a lead time in the previous session in the previous session we was discuss the lead time is a time gap between a placing an order and inventory reaches to the reaches to our organization okay so lead time is a time gap between the placing an order and inventory reaches in our organization into demand rate is known as a reorder level clear to all what is a queue system and fixed order system okay what is a p system or a fixed periodic system in this system the when inventory level is reviewed after a fixed period of time after a fixed period of time and fresh order is placed at that point so students in the p system in the p system a new order is placed at a particular at a particular fixed time period fixed time period okay students in the p system the inventory level is reviewed after a fixed point fixed time period but the quantity the quantity of order the quantity of order is variable here the quantity of order is variable but the time is fixed time is fixed okay students so what is the main difference between the queue review system and p review system in a queue review system in a queue review system the fresh order is placed at a reorder level 
at a reorder level but the quantity of order is fixed but the time is variable but in the p in the p system or fixed periodic system the inventory level is reviewed after a particular fixed time period particular fixed time period but the quantity of order is variable and time is fixed clear to all one important note here the q system is better than the p system why q system is better than p system so let's let's see here in the q system our inventory level is reaches to a reorder level the fresh order is placed okay so in our organization the inventory is a start to finish so our organization is a place a new order in the q system but here in the p system the new in the new order is placed after a particular fixed time period if our inventory is reaches to finish our inventory is finished before a particular fixed time period so our a production system is shut down so in the peace review system the shutdown of production system is possibility in a p system so the p system is not better but the q system is better than p system clear to all there are the two type of inventory model first one is a deterministic model and second one is a probabilistic model in the deterministic model the demand rate and lead time remain fixed and constant okay student in the deterministic model we are assume that the demand rate and lead time is a remain fixed if a demand rate and a lead time is fixed so we can say that the reorder level is also fixed because a reorder level is lead time into a demand rate so in the deterministic model the demand rate lead time and reorder level is fixed if a three terminology is fixed so we are not need to carry a safety stock in deterministic model so uh, if you are study a deterministic model so uh, you are not need to carry a safety stock what is a probabilistic model in the real world condition in the real world condition the demand rate and the lead time are fluctuating and variable according to a condition okay in the real world condition the demand rate lead time and reorder level are fluctuating and variable according to the condition okay so the real world condition is known as a probabilistic model okay student the real world condition is represented by the probabilistic model in this model in this model we are need to a carry a safety stock why we are need to a carry a safety stock because here the demand rate lead time and reorder level point are fluctuating and variable so we are need to a carry a safety stock to prevent a stock out during a adverse condition okay student to prevent a stock out in the previous session we was discussed we was discuss about the stock cost and the shortest cost the stock cost or shortest cost is a cost is a cost if your organization is uh, not fulfill the requirement of customer so organization is suffer a loss and this loss is known as a shortage or a stock out cost so to prevent the stock out during adverse condition in the probabilistic model the safety stock is carried throughout year clear to all deterministic model and probabilistic model the deterministic model basically classified in four category the first one is a economic order quantity model and eoq model is also known as a harris wilson model second one is eoq model with a price break third one is a production or built up model fourth one is a shortage or stock out or back order model in the next session we will discuss about a different different model take the one model and describe and learn in description okay student probabilistic model is basically classified in two category the first one is a demand profit model and second one is a service level model okay students clear to all in this session we was discuss about the review system basically a two review system 
क्यू रिव्यू सिस्टम एंड पी रिव्यू सिस्टम एंड डिस्कस अबाउट डिटर्मिस्टिक मॉडल एंड प्रोबेस्टिक मॉडल वॉट इज अ डिटर्मिस्टिक एंड वॉट इज अ प्रोबेबलिस्टिक मॉडल एंड टाइप्स ऑफ डिटर्मिस्टिक एंड प्रोबलिस्टिक मॉडल थैंक यू सो मच फॉर वॉचिंग टू बी कंटिन्यूड इन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक विल डिस्कस अबाउट डिटर्मिस्टिक मॉडल विच नोन एज इकोनॉमिक ऑर्डर क्वान्टिटी मॉडल और हैरिस वेलसन मॉडल